Hi guys, it's Yesenia and today's video is going to be a tutorial. Now, um, I wore this eye look for 4th of July because I'm like, why not do something a little bit blue? A little bit, uh, patriotic. I wore, uh, this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in American Doll. Not this one, but I thought, why not tone it down? You know, that'll be a little bit too red, white, and blue. I'm dropping everything. I just did the same look. I recreated it, but with a lighter, more wearable... Well, I don't know. Is this wearable? It's like a grayish, beige, purple... I don't know. It's wearable to me. So, um... Just a lighter lip color rather than a bright red going on with this kind of smoky color thing. Whatever. So I am for this look using only eyeshadows from the Metamorphosis Quad uh, by ColourPop in collaboration with Coffee Break with Danny. And um, yeah, I really, really liked these shadows. And... Um, they work really well, and they're amazing, and they, they they look good, don't they? Do you agree? Do you agree? I, I think they look good. If you want to watch this tutorial, keep watching. If you don't, then don't watch it. Why are you here if you don't want to watch this? Okay. Anyways, so um, if you want to see me do this look, just keep watching, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in just to um, help you guys see exactly what I do with my eyes. I did this eye already off camera, so I kind of know what I was going to do and how I was going to do it and all that stuff. Makes it easier for me, makes it easier for you. Um, I put some tape to just keep it clean, even though ColourPop, their eyeshadows don't really have much fallout. I wanted a really clean cut line. First, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, Contour Palette, and I'm just going to take this color, which is Levitation, and just um, place it all over my eyes, just to make the eyeshadows blend easier. Now I'm going to take the uh, Super Shock Shadow in Strength, and I am going to use this Sephora Eyeshadow Brush and just put that as a transition shade. I use this shadow like almost every single day. This is my favorite transition shade. I'm gonna be sad when it hits pan because I'm not gonna buy the quad again because it's just, you know, too much money. So I hope ColourPop has a shade similar to this. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Bravery and I am going to use this e.l.f. contour brush and put that in my crease. Now, at the moment, it looks like a cut crease, but that's gonna be fixed. Now I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. It doesn't have to be clean whatsoever because, you know, this is just a base. And now I'm going to take this Eco Tools shade brush, this small shade brush, and just um, blend it. Okay, now we are done with that, and I'm going to have to wash this later. I'm going to wash this brush. Now we're going to take the star of the show, which is the shade Kindness which is this beautiful color that's kind of like bluish, purple, brown, burgundy, like however you use it, it's going to turn out different. So I'm just going to take my finger and just pat it onto my lid. Now we are done with that color. Now we're going to just take the shade Hope, which I sadly hit pan on, and use this little smudging brush from Eco Tools and just put that on the inner corners. Okay, I'm having a hard time going. Okay, got it. 
I was having a hard time closing it. Now we're going to go back with Bravery and with that contour brush from e.l.f. 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 from e.l.f. and we're just going to blend in the crease. I think we are good with the eyes for now. I'm just gonna take off that tape. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to just take this little moist towelette and clean up anything that's under my eyes that I don't want to be there. Okay, I zoomed out a little bit for you guys and now I'm going to put on my foundation. I'm going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 228 and I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. My beauty blender which is all ripped and disgusting and needs to be replaced. I forgot to show it, but I primed my face with the all-in-one Insta Blur Primer. So my foundation is on and everything. It's looking good, it's looking even. And now I'm going to put on some concealer. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in my shade Medium Light, which actually is a little bit light for my new foundation, but it's okay because it blends out well and you don't even notice it. I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind uh, Maybelline Concealer in light, in the shade light, which is many shades lighter than what I am because it just brightens me up. Now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. blush brush and the Kat Von D contour palette and use the banana shade in it under my eyes just to set everything, which is the shade Lyric. Now I'm going to contour with the Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I'm going to use these two shades, which is Shadow Play and Sombre, and I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush, doesn't have a name. Now I'm going to bake and clean up my contour. I'm going to use this banana shade right here, just pack it all up and bake. While we're baking and everything, uh, I'm going to do my under eyes. I'm going to take this jumbo liner again and just run it on my under eyes. Doesn't have to be clean or anything, just has to be there. And I'm going to take the shade Bravery in this e.l.f. smudge brush and just smudge. Just do the smudging of a lifetime. Got some stuff in my contacts, which is okay. I have no idea if this looks messy. Let me, let me do the camera test. Ooh, gorgeous. See, I do this thing called the camera test. Well, I call it the camera test. Whereas, if I can't tell if it looks good in a mirror, I use my camera on my phone, which always makes me look amazing. And then I'm like, okay, that's what it looks like on camera. Then it looks good. After you have smudged it all up under your eyes, just take the giant fluffy brush again and take off all the excess powder. Excess. I keep on saying axis. It's excess. E X S. -E -X also, if my voice sounds a little bit raspy, it is because it is tech week for me for the play I'm in. And um, I got a rehearsal around 10 and then I got lost driving home. So I got home at like 11 when I should have gotten home around like 10.40. So um, 
I went to bed late and I'm just tired and I have rehearsal tonight again probably until 10 but yeah so that is the reason why I sound a little bit more raspy and why I'm breaking out and why I might have bags on bags under my eyes so don't be worried I'm not sick I'm just exhausted okay we are all contoured and everything and we're going to take this Too Faced bronzer in Sun Bunny which is one of my favorites and one of my only bronzers and we're gonna take this little this little brush that I use for contouring from Equal Tools well I used to use it for contouring now I use it for just bronzing and just swirl it around top off that excess and just lightly bronze Now, what's next? What do I always do next? I'm going to just do my brows real quick. I am done filling in my brows, and I am not, surprisingly, I am not going to clean it up and everything with concealer, because I went pretty natural today. And um, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And um, yeah, I am growing out my brows because I play a man in this show. So I don't want super thin brows at the moment because I want to get more into my character. Because I don't think my character would pluck his eyebrows. So. So, um, yeah, I'm doing the natural brow today. I use this NYX Control Freak Brow Gel just to keep them in place. And, yeah, now I'm going to highlight with this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. And I'm going to use my trusty fan brush. Now I'm going to use this ColourPop blush in the shade bonus just use my handy dandy Sephora powder brush just tap that in I forgot that I needed to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners so I'm gonna do that now okay. now I am going to put on some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and curl my lashes with this Tarte Curler. You know, I didn't realize how tired I was until I started filming this. I'm tired. Okay, now I'm going to take the NYX a uh, lip liner pencil in the shade natural and just line my lips. Now I'm going to use this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Trap and just put that on. Okay, so that is the finished look right here, and um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it and everything. Um, I'm really tired. <laughs> I just wanted to film a video for you guys, just something, hold it up. So just something nice and quick and easy to do using the Metamorphosis Quad by ColourPop and um, yeah so that was my video I hope you guys liked it click like comment subscribe add me on Twitter Instagram and snapchat and all that stuff so yeah that's it have a good day bye now I'm going to use the instant age do the bacon Bacon. Becca high shimmering with this Becca. Sh now, 
Oh, I'm so tired. I forgot that I um needed to bra. Blah, 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 blah.